morning to all of you. I am on behalf of the Department of Information Public Relations and our partner, Eastern Art Council of the honor to welcome all our honored guests and friends who have come to grace the inaugural function of the third global international film festival. It is my pleasure and honor to greet all of you on this very auspicious day. I am behalf of the department and on behalf of our partner would like to express our gratitude to the honored special guest, Mr. Niva Krono, Honorable Minister for Planning and Coordination Land Revenue. We have a very highly educated and widely traveled advisor, Mr. Tushi Wong Tong, who shares our dreams of making filmmaking, film production, a lucrative and employment generating activity in our state. We believe that films can project our state in its positive aspects to the world. And that films will promote tourism, generate employment for the skilled and educated youth of the state, to work as directors, scriptwriters, editors, camera persons, sound men, makeup artists, designers, electricians, sound engineers, editors, you know, sound editors, drivers, and technicians of a dozen trades. But most of all, we believe that films can tell the story of the Nagas to the world and the rest of India. Because we all know that if a picture has, is worth a thousand words, I mean, if a picture is worth a thousand words, then a talking, moving picture is worth a thousand pictures. So, bringing Mr. Kruno here and his colleagues to this uh, function was with an ulterior motive and not just to grace the function. We requested him to be here so that we can open to him and his colleagues the door, the door to the opportunities that films have for our people. Because Nagas, as we know, are talented, artistic, creative, and we have won recognition and awards in films at the national and international arena. So, <coughs> We would like to give you an opportunity to uh, take a peek into the abundant uh, creative minds that we have uh, among our people. And with this, uh, I would like to felicitate, give a token of appreciation to the honored guests who are here amongst uh, young people and we are happy that not just our special guest, but the young and upcoming public leaders, elected representatives are here with us today, and we would like to recognize them <coughs> with a bouquet of flowers each. And first of all, I would like to call on our special guest, Mr. Krono, to accept this uh, small token. Another honored guest, Mr. Kim Jandim Along, Minister for Higher Education. Thanks for being with us today, sir. Uh, we also have Mr. Monomo Kikon, advisor for <coughs> Employment, skill development, and 
And of course, our advisor, Mr. Tushi Wong Tong, who is always there to support us and guide us in our endeavors in the projects that we take up. Thank you, sir. Last but not the least, our Commissioner and Secretary, Madam Maria Yantan, we request you to accept this bouquet as a sign of our appreciation for your support and leadership. I would also like to take this opportunity to recognize uh, some of our friends here who have come to take part in this uh, Global Church, Global <coughs> Film Festival. Um, many of you have heard of Nicholas Lundor Karkor. Through him, uh, we are fortunate to have this uh, film, Akuni, much awaited film, which is not released in the theaters, but has been shown in some film festivals and have received very uh, positive uh, critical appreciation. And we would like to thank you for coming and being part of this <coughs> festival. And we also would like to present you with a token to show our appreciation for your willingness to come and be part of us. <coughs> Thank you, Nicholas. We also have uh, Mr. Akshay from the Sarikamba, the producer of uh, the film Akoni. We would also like to give you a small gift to show our appreciation. <laughs> He's an actor in the movie Akuni. <coughs> Mr. Lalo Akam. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we would also like to recognize uh, our friends from Payusco who are here to take part in the Global Film Festival. First of all, Judy Arora. Ma'am, if you can accept this gift. And she will come. Yeah, she will come. You can come with the camera. It's okay. Yeah. You can take a picture of yourself. <laughs> It's a big homecoming for me as an Naga, but it's also a big homecoming for Akuni the movie. Because this is Nagaland, this is where Akuni is made. Um, we're really happy to be here. Uh, the film hasn't gone to too many film festivals. We are, we are doing the festival circuit for a while. And it's only been, it premiered at the London Film Festival 
um, which is a big festival, so we were quite honored to be one of the very few clubs uh, from India uh, this year. Then it was at Mami, which is the biggest uh, festival um, in India. Uh, we went to Trivandrum, which is another very big festival. Um, but we were very happy when uh, Mr. Lima Ao proposed that we have a screening here. Um, because, as I said, we felt that there needed to be a screening in Nagaland. Um, you know, this is the film Akun. It needed a screening here before it released, uh, and before it's actually shown anywhere else, really. Uh, you know. So we're happy to be here. We came yesterday on the way. Uh, we made Akshay eat Akuni pork for the first time. And we had a knife with us just to make sure he elicited the right reaction. But he actually enjoyed the, the food, so we're happy. Um, and uh, I don't want to say too much because I do want to have a small sort of interaction after the film so that we can just talk a little bit about uh, just, you know, uh, film in general, the Northeast, um, and also, you know, subjects in the film, uh, including racism, etc. For now, um, do enjoy the film. I want to say one thing, uh, which is that I guess a whole bunch of you have seen the trailer, um, and it looks like a, a funny film, but it's also a very serious film, because the attempt was for me uh, to be able to uh, showcase uh, life as a Northeasterner living outside the Northeast, and I've been doing that for a long time, but there's a whole population of us uh, outside the Northeast. Um, and um, and while there are good things, there's also racism, etc., etc. And I wanted to show it in a light-hearted way also because we wanted a lot of people to watch it because if it's a serious film, then there is a problem. But this is the first Hindi film uh, with a Northeastern theme and with Northeastern actors. So it's something that I feel very, very proud of and I feel it's something that all of us should be very proud of. It's taken a while for me to get to the point where I could propose the idea of a Northeastern themed and Northeastern active film, um, you know, coming from Bombay, uh, done by a production house based in Bombay. So it's a proper Bollywood Hindi film. And uh, we have something that hopefully will, you know, be seen across the country and uh, received as, as this uh, Northeastern film. So thank you very much. And we'll have a longer interaction um, after the film. Thank you so much for being here. Hello friends, very good afternoon. It is my pleasure to be part of Glockal Harmville Film Festival this year. We at the Bioscope profusely thanks Mr. Jyoti Garash, Additional Chief Secretary and Principal Resident Commissioner Nagaland from bringing this Bioscope to Nagaland. The Bioscope Basically, he's gave us the opportunity to spread our vision of promoting our regional languages to different part of our country in India and as well as in abroad. Without taking much time, I really appreciate and welcome our friends from Northeast to come and submit their movies so that we can take these movies to other part of country as well as national and international. Thank you so much. Let's begin. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Movies for documentaries. These are it. Sometimes they make us sad. Sometimes they make us happy. And, but sometimes it inspires us. But in our context, the most important thing is it educate us. And now, Southeast Asian nations, they are doing well. They are slowly catching up <coughs> European countries. So the importance of all these documentary uh, films, they have come to know. I have uh, visited a few countries the last few years, South Asian countries. And they are quite optimistic about all these community films. 
Now you have to come here to the other end. As I, as I have stated, we have to start a little bit late, but uh, from now onwards, I think we can perform. And so that uh, our tradition, our cultures, and what we have continued. Maybe we could not uh, reach up to the expectation of others, but what, what the little things we have where we can, where we want to tell to the world, the trigger for some, that it will come to know us. And to the bias club and others, Yes, as of now, we may not reach up to your expertise. If there is uh, anything <coughs> which is not so pleasant to you, don't tell others. <laughs> <laughs> but if there's anything you find good about us, liberty is yours. But we are friendly people. So with these few words, I congratulate, I congratulate everyone, the organizers, and the Department of IPR for making this program a success. Thank you. One is because I wanted to make a film about a wedding <coughs> and what goes on, and through it show the life of uh, Northeasters outside the Northeast. Because the world, how many of us have lived outside the Northeast? Is be, uh, you know, sort of, even if not for a year or two years or, yeah. So a whole bunch of us have actually lived outside the Northeast. So, uh, so to answer your first, your second question first, I'm saying it was very clear that I wanted to make a film about this wedding and through it, the cooking of the Apuni, etc., show what it is like to be a Northeaster in Delhi, Bangalore, or any of the other metro cities. So that's easy, one day, uh, maybe easy. Uh, the first part of the question, in the beginning I wanted to make a serious film, <coughs> but you have to think of, you know, uh, reach, you have to think of the kind of audience you have. And, um, you know, if it's a very serious film, it becomes a problem reaching out to people, especially if you're looking at, uh, you know, the metro, beyond the metros, if you're looking at a bigger uh, audience and not just the, you know, the, ju not just the elite who go for the film. So, uh, and uh, a comedy makes it easier to access a film like this. Um, so, you can tell a story any which way. You pick up a genre and through it sort of, you know, there are, uh, pros and cons with each genre. And with a comedy, it allows you to look at, you know, the difficulties that, for instance, in this film, the prejudices that a Northeastern goes through, but sort of do it lightly, you know, and, uh, and there is a greater reach. Um, remember that I still had to write the film and reach out to a production house, which had to consider the financial viability of it you know, which Akshay will tell you more about. So it's not easy. If you come to them with a very art house film, it's highly unlikely that they would pick it up. It's also highly unlikely that it would actually have the kind of reach that we're hoping it would have when it has a theatrical release. But you did touch some very serious issues, so I beg to differ from him. I don't think it was that much of a comedy. You did uh, reach out to our hearts with all the issues that are there when you have Northeastern <coughs> The people from the Northeast who move into, you know, the metro cities. And I've had many friends, particularly Naga friends, and I know what goes on. So thank you so much for making this wonderful film. We really loved it. Thank, thank you. you. I don't know how many of you have heard of Nido Tanya, uh, who was this Arunachali boy in 2014 in Delhi. He was killed. Uh, he, and this was in Lajpat Nagar. I tried to reference it as much as possible. Yes, and uh, he was at a shop looking for, uh, asking for directions. Uh, they made fun of his blonde hair, uh, got into an argument, which eventually led to him being beaten up. And that led to his death the following day. Uh, and all of us were very shaken up by it. Uh, so there were huge protests around the country in the metros and so on, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But it was something that we were all very affected by. And I was very clear right from the very beginning uh, when I, you know, when I knew that I wanted to make a, a, a film about Northeasterners uh, in in Delhi or Bangalore, wherever the Northeastern diaspora, if I'm allowed to use the word, uh, I knew that I wanted to include that. 
Um, so yeah, so Bandang's character is Nidotanya, and uh, we've seen a number of these events play out. Uh, having said that, there's also, which I attempted to do, a racism which is, which is uh, prevalent in the Northeast, directed against South Asian faces and so on. And it's, it's as bad as it is you know, uh, in Delhi vis-a-vis -vis, uh, you know, Northeasterners. So I think it was very important to try and balance it out, uh, which I was hoping I, you know, I could do and hope have achieved to a certain extent against Nepalis, against Bengalis, etc. Like, uh, first of all, I'm a train actor, so it was not like quite difficult for me. And I'm a singer songwriter, so like it, this, that character was just written for me. It was just made for me. Yeah. Also, uh, uh, Bandang uh, is a graduate of the National School of Drama. Uh, there aren't too many from the Northeast. Uh, he's one of them, and we're very proud of him. Uh, in um, uh, I studied in Delhi after my graduation. So uh, I've experienced things similar to this. So it was just recreating the moment. So it was, yeah, it was, uh, it, in some scene it was like difficult, but uh, somehow I found a way to like pull that off. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, I think I won't call myself the heroine of the movie. <laughs> I think so we all have played a very equal part in this and everyone was amazingly good. For me, I'm not from an acting background, frankly speaking. I'm from a fashion background. I completed my graduation uh, in NIFT Bombay, and I was working as a fashion stylist. And then I went for an audition, and Nick liked it, and gave me a chance. And uh, I'm grateful to him for doing that to me, because I never thought I can get this chance ever in my life. And just being a part of this amazing um, art form and just being a part of this message that we're trying to reach out to people. And you know, I, I, in this whole, I'm really grateful that I'm being a part of this movie. And I thank him for choosing me. And I would never think that I'm a heroine for, uh, uh, in this movie. But yeah, it was an amazing experience working in this film. You know, that you can go out to and say, okay, this one can play this part. So it's also, you know, there are only these it many options. It was very difficult. And then we have to make the film in a certain budget, of course, you know. Like already this is a big risk that we've taken because uh, not too many screens in the Northeast, so making a, a theatrical release is a, is a tough task here. So we have to find ways of taking it, you know, to, to the other parts of India. That's why the comedy comes in as well. So that, you know, we are not being too serious and the others, uh, the North Indians, for example, who come in, they can also reflect on it. It's not like, hey, you were wrong. It, it's very well balanced, so that was one of the ways that, you know, uh, we could go about it. So, so seven or eight of our films are on Netflix right now, so we're the only production house that has films on Netflix in this quantity. We've also partnered with Hotstar for two of our films, so we're trying to, you know, uh, do the types of films that we want, that are relevant, and, you know, uh, I mean, we, I've had Northeast known friends, but we've never heard their story. So, you know, it was time that a story like this comes out, and, and, and I'm glad the way it's turned out. So, so this is the first Hindi film uh, with a Northeastern theme and a Northeastern cast. Um, and it's very, very important that it succeeds commercially. So I would ask all of you to, you know, when it comes out theatrically, to spread the word, etc. If it doesn't succeed commercially, it simply means that nobody else in Bombay would be interested in looking at a Northeastern theme or Northeastern actors. And these are, you know, you know, we all hope and pray that this will, in some senses, pave the way for more Northeastern actors to, to be part of the larger Indian film narrative, uh, and also for Northeastern stories to emerge.